This is uh, the beta of Xeno Raid from 10 Tons. You know, 10 Tons, makers of Neon Chrome and Crimson Land and Sparkle, Sparkle Unleashed, Tennis in the Face, Baseball Riot, King Oddball. They made a lot of games. So, how the game works is you get a mission briefing, there's some, some banter between you and your commanding officer, and there are four ships in your command. And when you first begin, you have you have some credits. Uh, I, find, I find that in a lot of these games, I'm always afraid to spend money for fear of uh, misspending it and then kind of panning myself into a corner. So, and each planet has a series of missions, and the tech lab allows you to purchase uh, even more upgrades and some consumables that uh, are pretty useful for your mission. So the mission begins. Uh, there is a co-op. I only played it by myself so far. And using the D-pad and the cardinal directions, you can switch between any four of the ships anytime you want. You can also use the switching of the ships in order to evade enemies, uh, projectiles, and things like that. And if you look in the bottom left, you'll see that there's a counter. So it gives you an indication of how far you, you know, how how many enemies are left so you know you have an idea of, of what, uh, what you'll be facing which is helpful and when you begin you'll immediately like some of the weapons some of the ships have and then well, at least I did like I found that that burst fire thing it, I didn't really find it to be all that great but then as I played the game I found it a little more useful once I got the hang of it so it's primarily a, a vertical uh, a vertical shooter and in between the levels you definitely want to go in and um, buy health and well you want to repair your ships that's one thing so as you go on you'll find uh, some of the enemies get a little tougher and they have homing missiles and things like that and if you don't get them in the first pass through they will most certainly drift by again and attempt to kill you so make sure you pick up the debris uh, which are credits that you can use to purchase upgrades and uh, consumables um, in between missions. I found that sometimes I would honestly kind of forget like which ship. I really didn't like start to know the ships. I just would. If, if I was damaged, I just press one in another direction, then I get another ship without really thinking about exactly which weapon the ship has. But that was when I first started. But as I kept playing, I was a close call. Uh, I began to get really closer. I began to think about that. I like that the ships, when you move left and right, it turns sort of like a 40, 40, 45 degree angle. So you don't always have to go move all the way to the left or the right. You can just because the ship naturally kind of pivots. I found that to be pretty useful. And as you go on, uh, as you saw, you'll you'll be a, a robot being uh, talked down to by your commanding officer. Something to look forward to, right? Who doesn't like that? And as you see, the, these ships look vastly different than the previous. So in survival mode, um, you can pick which planet you're on. And this gave me a good indication of just how much different the game gets. Like, you see these enemies that are, you know, cloaked and... There were asteroids in the first uh, missions that I went all the way through, but the weapons definitely vary, which is cool because you know you don't want to play with the same four weapons forever. So it definitely gives you a sense of uh, the progression you have in the the mission-based story mode. Shoot him or do something. And I don't know what that triangle thing is. I, don't, I couldn't pick it up. I don't know if I was the wrong ship or what, but I'll figure that out. So that is a beta of Xenoraid. Um, I'm not sure when it's coming out. Uh, it seems pretty fun. Um, I played it for, I don't know, an hour or so. It's nothing revolutionary. You know, it is a vertical shoot 'em up. So it's not, it's, it's not going to, to reinvent the wheel, uh, per se, but what I played of it, I did enjoy. The one thing is, when I got to the end of the first set of missions, there wasn't really a boss battle. Now, narratively, there was some story elements about 
some powerful weapon that had been launched and hadn't gone off. That's cool. I mean, the narrative stuff is nice, but I was kind of looking forward to like a more traditional boss battle. But it's a beta. All that is definitely uh, something. All those things are things that can change. Uh, so far, I think it's a pretty, pretty sound foundation. It's very different than the other games that 10 tons has released. Anyway, if you like it, click like, subscribe, leave a comment about this game, any other shoot 'em up that you, you like, don't like, and click the video, some more videos.